That's gotta hurt. Hey everybody, my name is Leonime, and in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to make a movable object. The first thing that we are going to do is go to Menu, File, New, and go to Beginner Mode. This will load the preset data. Now that we have the preset data loaded, we can go to File, Preferences, User, Level, and switch to Hard Mode so that we can edit the data. Okay, now, we have to create an event. So go to Scripts, Events. Create new data. And the name is going to be Box. This is going to be the movable object in the game. It's just going to be a box. So the display type is going to be an object. The model is going to be a crate. There's a preview of it on the right. That's all we're going to do for now. And update that and save it. And exit out of there. Now that we have an event, we can control it using a script. So let's create a script. Go to Scripts, Scripts. Create new data. And the name of the script is going to be box apply. This script is going to check the party direction, and depending on the party, the party's direction, um, it'll move the box in that direction. So, for example, if the party is facing east, then the box will move east. If the party is facing west, then the box will move west. The first line of code that we are going to insert, uh, go to data, game info, load. What this line of code does is it loads game information such as the party's direction. And like I said before, we need the party's uh, direction, you know, what direction they're facing, in order to determine what direction the box is going to move in. So now that we have the party's direction loaded, we can go ahead with our script branch. So go to script branch. There's two ways you can do this. You can either do it as a condition or as a sort. And um, it really depends on the nature of the, of the script. But as you can see on the right, there's a number. Um, right next to condition it says 42 which is how much memory it uses and then right here where it says sort you can see it uses less memory than condition so sort is actually very good for um, different scenarios that happen that's the best way I can describe it but anyways we're gonna do sort because it's less memory intensive that's the whole reason why we do sort I mean, that's what I think anyways. Uh, it's going to be a variable. We're going to check the party's direction. So let me see if I can find it and tell you the ID. Okay, so the ID number is 085. Party dir. There it is. That's the party direction. Update that. Now here's the branch. And inside of the branch, we're going to check to see uh, what direction uh, they're facing. So go to script branch apply if apply if zero now zero is a, is a value of party direction it's asking is the party direction zero which means are they facing east zero equals east so um, if they are facing east then events movement direction move east. Distance, one step. The facing, um, it can be either or, it doesn't matter, but if you're doing big objects like buildings, for example, you might want to choose fixed, because if you choose movement for big objects, it's going to start glitching out and it's going to look very weird. So fixed, uh, in my opinion, would work best in any case, so I choose that. I would choose that. The per step can be anything that you want. It really depends. Uh, I like 10. You can choose 
you know, if you want it to be instantaneous, you could choose 0 or 1. But I like 10, because that looks good. So update that. We're going to copy this right here. The apply if and the event move. Copy those two and paste them. This is going to be a different case. Instead of 0, we're going to edit this apply if. Instead of 0, it's going to be 2. And 2 is south. So is the party direction facing south? If they are indeed facing south, then the event move direction, uh, the direction that the box is going to move in, is south. It's pretty simple, right? Save that. That's pretty good. Now we can copy this and do the same thing. So 2, 4. 4 is, you guessed it, west. Yep. So let's go to west. And then copy that. And then do another one. And then, of course, 6. 0, 2, 4, 6. 6 stands for... Yep. North. So there we go. Okay, now, if I actually tested this script, it wouldn't work. And the reason why is because when it executes an event move, it ignores all the other conditions. Like, for example, if you were facing east, it would go through this um, script branch right here, apply if number is zero, and then it would do the event move, and then it would totally ignore these other ones, but it would do it would it would execute the event move so actually if you were facing east it would move the box east and then it would move the box south and then it would move the box west and then north if you were facing um, south then it would move the box south and then west and then north do you understand what I'm saying so in order to combat this you would have to insert let's go to script Force script end. So that way, when it checks to see the uh, apply if, it checks to see the party direction, it would execute the event move, and then it would totally just ignore all the other conditions. So it won't move in any other direction. I'm not really sure why it does that, but it's a good way to, to combat this. Okay, so under where it says event move, I'm just placing the force script end. So right here, event move. Right here, I'm just going to paste that. And then for the last one, I could paste uh, force script end right here, but we actually don't need it because the script is already done. Like, that's the end. So you don't need a force script end right here. So you can just leave it as it is. There's only three force script end. Okay? So save that. Exit out of there. Now that we have a script, we can apply it to our event. So go to scripts, events, and go to the box event that you had created. And the start will be touch. The apply is going to be the script that we had just created. Box apply. Save that. Exit out of there. Now we're going to place the event, so go to Scripts, Event Placement, and choose one of these. I'll just choose Preset Town, Edit. I'm going to place it just in the middle of the village. Right there. There's the box. Exit out of there. Save that. Exit. Okay, now we're going to test it. Start. Let's see if it works. If it doesn't, then I'm screwed. Then I'll have to do this tutorial all over again. Okay. So we're facing uh, west. It moves west. Facing south, moves south. Facing uh, east, goes east. Facing north, it works. So that's it for my tutorial. Our tutorial. <laughs> See you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.